Have you heard the story about the two girls in Wales that only talk to each other and no one else? Nah, I didn't either. That's why I watched the movie. I'm John Stark from MacMovieGuy.com, and this is my review of The Silent Twins. Yeah. Uh, still, still getting 2022 movies checked off this. Uh... I'm, I'm a blind film critic. I watch films with audio description, and this has audio description on Peacock. And Peacock does not like me to watch credits. However, I'm going to use my Spidey skills on this one. And uh, I recognize some voices because I've heard them a lot, and I do believe this is narrated by Claudia Dunn. So, uh, fuck you, Peacock. I win. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to the credits, but... I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's Claudia Dunn narrating. Um, so, in case you watch this and you're like, Ah, oh, Peacock, why are you making me immediately watch something else? I don't know how to turn this off. I don't know how to turn it off either. Part of Peacock's problem is their app is not great. It's not very navigable with uh, screen readers. So, um, when I find out if it's possible... Yeah, of course I'll do it, but yeah, I'm stuck. Um, so the, the Silent Twins is um, exactly what I just told you it is. There are two little girls. They start out as little. Uh, June and Jennifer, who are twins, as you might expect from the title, who are silent to the rest of the world, but to each other they talk. I don't know how we know this, <laughs> because... Um, you would have to, people would have had to hear them talking to each other, you know, like, they'd have to be out in public, like, talking to each other, so they wouldn't really be silent, they would just be, you know, uh, like, in deep stranger danger mode, <laughs> you know, like, my mother told me I'm not supposed to talk to anybody, <laughs> so I'm not going to, ever, um, yeah, so it's, but they're, um, the film it takes this it's 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 a weird film because it, it like it's one of those like i'm gonna try to transcend all genres type of film it's like ooh, could i be a scary film in addition to just being a historical drama based on a true story <laughs> i'm gonna try <laughs> creepy um it was, it's just but it's just what it is. It's just two two girls who just, uh, for whatever reason, only talk to each other. Um, and making a feature event out of that, I suppose they had to try to make some, you know, uh, unsettling moments happen to keep your attention. You know, to bring you in, to reel you in and be like, what are they doing? Oh, God. Oh, no. What's happening here? <laughs> this is so weird. It's so great. <laughs> um, I don't know how much of this is actually true and how much of this actually happened. Um, I don't want to ruin the... I can't say, like, but I think about how they feel now. And I, I, there, there's a whole, like, that, there's an ending to the film. And if you don't know the story, then it can't ruin the whole thing. Um, but... Uh, yeah, they do, uh, they, they just kind of progress, and it's, uh, some stuff happens, and, uh, I do remember the one time, uh, where I was sitting there, and it was really good, too, because I, I was not fully invested in the film, but I got fully invested in this scene. Um, there's a courtroom scene, this is mild spoilerish. There's a courtroom scene where they're trying to figure out, because the girls are so, like, bizarre to everyone else, uh, and they've done some things that nobody can understand, and of course, when they try to ask them about it, they never talk, they never talk to anybody, so they never explain themselves. Um, so, they're, they're in this courtroom, and they're interviewing this psychiatrist, right? And uh, he's like, uh, it, is, it is my findings that they are psychopathic tendencies and then you can hear like this audible like <gasps> from those in the courtroom <laughs> and then there's like a couple other things that he says and then I get every time the courtroom is all just like 
<laughs> like they're all like everything is this <laughs> like shocking audible gasp from the courtroom and I was just like I was in it too. I was like I'm shocked also <laughs> this is working. <laughs> this is why people run laugh tracks under sitcoms. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I was like really invested in the courtroom scene for all of a sudden because like I could like even though I couldn't see who was in the courtroom, you know. I mean, Claudia Dunn was doing a great job narrating this film, but she wasn't like there are eighty seven people sitting in the courtroom. Forty four of them are white. Thirty seven of them are black. You know, she, there was no like uh, there was no like breakdown of. You know, like, there's this one person standing in the back. She's got a really tall, like, 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 poofed up haircut. And she's wearing, like, a blue dress. I had none of that. No, no. It was, so I didn't know who was out there in the audience. But the fact that they were having such a reaction to it was unintentionally hilarious. But also actually, it actually worked. Like, I actually was more invested in that scene than some, than some of the other previous scenes I had uh, I was shown, um, <laughs> all because of the, of her, the, the really cartoonishly dramatic reaction from, <laughs> from the courtroom. Um, so that was a great moment in film. Um, but, uh, it'll be one that, that goes really under the radar, because I don't think that many people saw The Silent Twins in 2022, but I'd love to get a room of people together who, who saw all of the films of 2022 and be like, do you guys remember that scene in The Silent Twins? Do you remember it? Where they, they were all gasping. Was I the only one? <laughs> was I the only one? Um, yeah, so, uh, it's a, it's, it's, it's an okay movie. Um, uh, there's, it's hard to say, um, I think this ended up on, there was some list, uh, where, uh, Letitia Wright was getting noticed for this, because obviously it takes place in Wales, so they used actors from the UK, um, so, you know, Shuri is in this, uh, but it, the thing is, half the film, they're the little versions of themselves, and then the other half are the big versions, so it's hard to say she stars in this, um, you know, when you're, when you're splitting your time with, a uh, uh, a little girl playing a little version of you, um, it's, it's really hard to, to swing, you know, which is why there's no Oscar campaign for her, even though everybody's like, ooh, the tissue, I, she's like a star of tomorrow. We could, we could, can't, no, you can't really campaign for her. First of all, she's a twin, so you have to campaign for both of them. Like, it's not like the other girl's not doing, it's not like the other actress isn't doing solid work, you know. Um, and then what do you do with the younger girl, you know, like, she's, she's doing half your work for you. So, it's a very weird film, but um, I thought all four of the girls who played all four of the twins at very, <laughs> I, I mean, all, both of the twins, all four girls who played both of the twins at various stages uh, did a very nice job. So, uh, I just think the film is really slow. I think the film tries to make a mountain out of a molehill, and by doing so tries to create uh, an ambiance that we're suddenly in like a Bloomhouse film and it's, <laughs> it's just very, sometimes it's just very weird. And I'm like, what? They don't want to talk to people. Like just get them a fucking therapist. <laughs> like this is, you know, it's just like, God, I just, it's, I mean, like, I know, I feel like the parents tried here, but in, in real life, like, I feel like the parents tried in real life, but in this film they're presented as like, the two little girls from The Shining, you know, like, they're presented, like, they're, <laughs> like, in the, in a way to try to unnerve you, and I'm like, these are real people, like, these are, this is not some fake story, this is based on a true story, and this isn't based on a true story of two girls who grew up to be serial killers, this is based on a true, st a true story of two girls who did not want to talk to anybody but each other, so, um, yeah, it's it's a very weird film. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but uh I in general I wouldn't recommend it to people. Uh but I don't hate it. Uh it wasn't bad. There are parts of this that are are fine and it's got some decent acting in it. So um and Claudia Dunn's narration was great. Uh it's she's a very even narrator. 
Um, if you're expecting uh, explosiveness from her, uh, she will never be explosive. She's really great at just right down the right down the middle, uh, giving you what you need without. Um, some people like the the inflection, like the uh, like the narrator's getting invested in the movie too. Like as the action rises, you know, like you can hear the narrator is getting in more intense along with the intensity of the scene. Uh, Claudia is more of just a I'm here to narrate, give me my script, <laughs> and uh, and she she reads great scripts and she does does good does good work. So, um, and I've heard her narrate enough things. Uh, it can be in the wrong film. Uh, she can be she can be put on the wrong film because if you put her in a film where things are exploding, then it does kind of seem like deflating. But here, I think the film did need to be deflated a little bit because for some reason somebody kept trying to turn this into the fucking Conjuring. So, um, yeah, it <laughs> actually was kind of like, yeah, great, bring her in. Uh, let's calm this movie down. I don't know why we didn't just go straight up with this movie. I, The Wonder tried to do that, too. The Wonder was like, ooh, we're going to be creepy as shit. And it's like, are, do you need to be, though? Like, <laughs> what is the need? Why does it feel like Jason Blum is touching, like, every movie in Hollywood unnecessarily? <laughs> we don't need that in life. I understand Blumhouse films are really popular, but... It, you don't need to he just sometimes you can just be a drama it's the thing that we do now we just we can have dramas they don't always have to feel like you know uh annabelle is about to come home so <laughs> anyway um that's my review of the silent twins which is on peacock with audio description should you choose to watch it and i'm gonna give the silent twins a c minus uh, I didn't hate the film, but I think it's it totally, it just needed, it, it needed, eh, eh, it needs some work. Um, so, uh, what did you think of The Silent Twins? I think I'm, uh, I think I'm going against the grain here. I do believe this is positive on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, and I think it's like a six on IMDb. So, uh, as of me putting this up, it wasn't like really high on IMDb. It was like, it was like an average IMDb score uh, for, like, if you get between a 6 and a 7, that's that's average on IMDb. You're fine. Like, that movie is fine. Um, and then I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to say this movie's terrible. I just think it doesn't really know what genre it wants to be um, or should be. So, uh, thanks for checking out the review. Please subscribe. I want to keep talking about films that have audio description. And uh, I want to, yeah, yeah, more people. Let's get more people in this community. So tell your friends, tell your school teachers, tell your bus drivers, and uh, uh, tell that dog that keeps pooping in your in your front yard that uh, to stop pooping in your front yard. Don't don't tell it to subscribe. I don't want that dog to subscribe. I have a website, MacTheMovieGuy.com. I have a Twitter at MacTheMovieGuy. I have. Instagram at Mac the Movie Guy. I don't really use it, but I have it. Um, and <laughs> you can go to the audio description project, adp.acb.org. It'll let you know what has audio description and where you can watch it. And you can go to the adna.org. That's the adna.org. It'll let you know more about Claudia Dunn and what else she has narrated. That's it for me today. And I will review something else and see you guys on the other side.